All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're in the kitchen. We're installing a new in-sinkerator garbage disposal under the sink in the kitchen. The old one's kind of given out. This is the new one. This one's the Evolution Compact. This is like the first line in the Quiet series. There's probably eight or nine different ones you can buy. This is probably the most popular brand. Our existing one that's broken is the same brand. So this flange right here is the same flange that we have underneath the sink. So I don't even need to install this. You can if you need to. This All it's going to do is just give me a new shinier flange on the sink side, inside of the sink. I don't think I need to do that. So I'm going to show you how easy it is just to swap over the new one. So let's get the old one out, and then we'll get this one prepped to put in. Under the sink here, if you see, here's our existing one. This is like the Badger Insincorator. It's like the half horsepower one. This is like a standard. This is what the contractor put in. It, you know, it's, it's lasted eight and a half years or so but it's given out, it's not working. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug it here. We have our plug-in right there. This bottom outlet is the switched, so when the switch is on, this bottom outlet works. So we're just going to unplug it. I'm gonna remove the hose clamp up top. This is gonna to remove the dishwasher connection. Get a bucket underneath because it's gonna leak water. And then I'm going to I'm gonna replace this piece. A lot of these pieces like this rubber piece um, I'm, I'm replacing just because it's you know it's already eight and a half years old and so I just don't want any leaks so I'm gonna replace that piece and then I'm also gonna replace the old the old cord you can reuse this cord uh, but I figure I'm gonna replace it just because I'm replacing the, the whole unit so we got that I think what I'll do is I'll just disconnect it from the the sink connection here to disconnect the existing garbage disposal from the flange you can see there's these little loops right here you just stick a screwdriver through and it's going to move yeah clockwise here okay just broke okay it comes in like that the tube's out that is disconnected all right so we got the old one out we're just trying to figure out how the order of the uh these ga rubber gaskets go on top of the uh, of the disposal here so this came already on top of it this little uh this is kind of just like the little strainer thing that goes on top this actually doesn't go inside here it actually just sits right on top of the uh the strainer the strainer basket here so it, it just will come out so Nothing, this doesn't get installed. The instructions aren't very clear. There is, it does show kind of an order of, of how they're all stacked up, and this does show it goes right inside of that, so it, it does show that. But this gasket here is the one that's going to mate right up to the bottom of the, uh, of the connector underneath. It's ready to go in is there's actually a knockout plug inside of the, the dishwasher discharge pipe right here. This is there, so if, you don't have, if you're not using it, connecting a dishwasher, it's kind of sealed off. If you are going to use it for dishwasher, you just have to get a screwdriver and a hammer and just pop that out. Once you knock that out, make sure you get all the plastic pieces from inside of the, the disposal part. Make sure you don't leave any uh, excess plastic there. Two items that we're, we purchased in, in addition to this is the connector ki dishwasher connector kit and the power cord kit. My old one has the power cord, but I want to replace the, power, the, the cord just because, like I said, my old one's eight years old and I want a fresh cord. I don't want there to be any electrical issues. So what we have to do to connect the electrical is on the bottom. Phillips head screwdriver removes this little panel here and then we'll be able to make the electrical connections. We have our wires exposed here. We have the little uh, top off here. We just need to screw in this little piece here. This, this crimps the cord so that way the, port, the cord doesn't get pulled out. So we want to screw that in first. This ring you can take off the back of this. You don't need this ring. And then this will actually just thread right on there and tighten down. So what we'll do is we'll put our cord through here. Now on the cord, there's actually a ribbed cord that goes to the white, and then the smooth black one goes to the black wire. It says that in the instructions, so just make sure you get that right. There's a little grounding screw. We'll just ground the screw right there. The cord kit does come with new wire nuts. Ground securely in, and the wire nuts on each of the wires. Tuck the wires down into this little area. Put our plate back on, screw that down, crimp down the cord, that, turn that till it's tight. So we have the power ready, got our dishwasher knockout, let's get this underneath here. And the last, one of the last parts is we just have to figure out the discharge tube 
length. It comes with a new dis discharge tube. There, there's a flanged end and there's a smooth end. The smooth end is going to go onto the end of my uh, plumbing underneath. I'm going to use this little piece here. I may have to cut this. I just need to see exactly um, the length to see. There's a spring clip included that's going to go over here. So what we'll do is we'll put the spring clip over this. This will go in like that and then we'll be able to use the spring clip to hold the pipe in that way it doesn't come out. Okay, I got the old one off. I'm slipping the new one on here. And I'm just going to... comes with a new spring clamp. That's going to go over the... Okay, spring clamp's on here. I'm going to put my hose clamp on here. That's going to go onto the garbage disposal. Just got it up there. I put a little uh, dish soap on the rubber seal just to like help it get up there and to slide a little bit. I used two screwdrivers, one on this side, one on this side. And then just to pull... You want to go until it clicks all the way over these rounded pieces are right up against the flange right here. So it's in there and it can actually move, we can actually move a little bit to position it. We have to position it uh, right across from the discharge pipe. So I just use my little hacksaw here and I cut about uh, two inches off of the pipe here and how this pipe goes in is it just it goes in like so and then this blue o-ring gasket goes in here and then this clamp just tightens it down there. So I think I got it just about the perfect length. And then I'll just make sure it gets seated properly in there and then move my spring clamp to tighten it. All right, installation's all wrapped up. Uh, we have all the connections. We're just gonna test it out here. I'm gonna turn the switch on, you can hear it go. Pretty quiet. So from the top, we just have this removable uh, rubber gasket here that we're just going to keep in there. Uh, I like that this one's removable. And we just put that there. We have a new cap if we need to plug the sink up. Sink's about half full. We're going we're gonna to just test for leaks. And as far as leaks go, we're just going to monitor this over the next couple days just to make sure, but I don't see any physical leaks at all. I didn't replace this uh, this part here, so I don't, I don't think it's going to have to... That didn't really cause any leaks, so I just need to check this connection here, making sure this is this is good here. Otherwise, pretty straightforward installation. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you found this helpful or useful. Be sure to see the link down below to this, uh, this disposal that we got. We actually got it on Amazon. It's actually cheaper than my local Home Depot. As well as all the parts and tools used, we'll have a link to that as well. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.